Hey, what's up everyone? John of the Geek here, and today we're going to be taking a look at a program that anonymizes your internet traffic. And so this is a follow-up video to one that I made not too long ago about VPNs and BitTorrenting. And so I was shopping around for a new VPN service, and I came across this program here, which I think does pretty much the same thing. It's a little bit easier to use, and it has a lot of cool features that are very specific or tailor-made to what you want to do or how you want to anonymize yourself on the Internet, right? And best of all, this program is free, and there is a paid version. Uh, however, we're just going to be looking at the uh, free version. And so once we're on the page here, you just go ahead and uh, click on download. And so um, the paid version is still worth it, I think. Uh, it's only about $30 a year, which is still cheaper than a lot of the VPN services out there. And so it's a native app that runs on your computer. It does a lot of the technical things for you uh, that you don't have to really do um, to your computer, which is also great and easier to use. And so it's a little, it explains a little bit here uh, as to what you get from this free version here and what the program is. So uh, read that. That's all good and gravy. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and run this program here. And it's fairly simple and easy to straightforward to install. You just click on next, accept, and next, and next. And uh, there's no bloatware. It's completely free, unlimited use. You can use it on as many machines as you want. Uh, as many times as you want, um, as long as you want, right? Uh, it's going to ask here uh, to restart your computer. I do recommend that you go ahead and do that for the purpose of this video, though. We're going to skip that. And you can go ahead and double click on it. And it pops up here. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh my gosh, you're showing everybody your IP address. Well, smoke and mirrors kind of going on here what you're actually looking at my desktop is a virtual machine which I highly recommend that you do for this sort of stuff is run a virtual machine anyways uh, this machine is on a virtual machine and my host machine is running safe IP so I'm actually bouncing my real IP off of another server here and so you're seeing not my real IP All right so with that said let's move on so here we have uh, the servers that uh, this program will divert all of your traffic to and uh, this is the United States uh, section area here and there's a few servers that it's con it can connect to so basically what this does uh, if you didn't watch my previous videos is that when you connect to this it will send all of your traffic to these servers here all right instead of going to um, whatever website that you're going to some torrent site and uh, when you're torrenting or using those programs all of those programs will go and send traffic to this server here and then it will um, from this server will go out and actually go to the World Wide Web and do whatever it is that you're asking it to do right and so any uh, agency or ISP out there that's tracking you it will know that uh, the traffic and request is coming from this server and not your home most importantly right that's how you're getting anonymized right and so uh, once you choose one you can go ahead and click on connect and then your IP will change over but uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some settings first as you notice here all of these options and features are turned off currently so we're going to go ahead and go through and turn them on and so uh, if you want to know what each one of these features is just hover your mouse over each one and it will tell you what uh, each thing does like malware protection will block a list of known harmful websites being accessed so when you try to go to a website that's known to have malware on it it'll tell you safe IP will pop up and be like hey don't go to that website you can't go to this website it's got bad stuff on there right advertising blocking a lot of these are kind of self-explanatory I'm not gonna really go through all of these but if I wanted to you know be paranoid and safe I would click all of these DNS privacy this is probably one of the one of the uh, more popular ones are the ones that you really want to use when you go to a site that has torrents on it because your ISP will know that you went to a site that's got torrents on it and that's how they get you right so um, you want to check this right it has a DNS request uh, from your ISPs and traffic encryption encrypts all the traffic between safe IP and your computer which is also good 
And then you can also rotate your IP automatically. What would you use this for? Well, maybe there's something that you want to game. Maybe some site only allows you to vote for something once, right, uh, from your IP address. So you can actually change this every few minutes so that uh, whatever site is blocking or only allowing one per household, um, it'll rotate. It'll look like uh, you're coming from another place, another IP address, this request every 10 minutes or however you want to run it. Then, of course, run on Windows Startup. And so some of the optimizations here uh, that allows you to do, let's say um, fast content streaming. Let's say you're out of the country, and this is one of the other uses for doing this sort of thing, not just illegally downloading stuff and torrenting. There is some little bit of legitimate use for it, right? Fast content streaming. Let's say you're outside of the US and you want to stream Netflix. Um, Netflix doesn't allow streaming to certain countries and so you're in a country and uh, you want to use fast content streaming you pick a US location um, server here right and you want to be optimized for fast content streaming such as those services like Net, uh, Netflix or Hulu Plus or whatever any of that type of stuff uh, mass or bulk mailing um, I guess if you want to spam some people and you want to look at you know coming from another site I don't condone these courses of actions but for whatever reason maybe you do have a legitimate business that you need a mass email and I don't know maybe it is allowed in some ways and you're doing constant contact or something and however you want to figure it out but anyways moving on to this pro version download and torrent so when you're downloading things from sites and you're anonymizing your traffic or you're doing torrents and you want the torrents and downloads to be fast you need to click on this however you need to have the pro version right and so uh, let's see what it takes us to um, it'll probably bring up a website where you would buy the pro version and there where you would have the uh, price depending on when you're watching this video I don't know if they will always keep the same price but when I paid for it um, for this year my yearly subscription it was twenty nine dollars and that was a great price you know it may subject to change in the future and then languages you got different languages that you could choose from and that's pretty much it for uh, this program as to what what it does as you can see here you got many different uh, countries that you can um, uh, send your traffic to and come from instead of uh, wherever it is that you're at right so uh, hopefully that was useful for you um, hopefully you're able to use this and uh, play around with like I said do all this stuff inside of a virtualized environment because if uh, you know you download something that's got a virus and stuff like that you don't want it on your main machine right just use it on your um, virtual machine also while you're doing the torrents and stuff like that it doesn't affect your main machines internet right only in this virtual machine here that way when you're on your main desktop here uh, and I'll even show you once you're on your main desktop here you know you've got your virtual machine running here and it's doing your torrenting and it's you know gonna be slower internet traffic it's not affecting your machine at home or uh, your main machine where you can you know just jump on the internet and do whatever it is you want All right? and so one last thing that I gotta say my disclaimer is that by no means am I some type of lawyer or legal person uh, do this stuff at your own risk if you're gonna do nefarious things you're not 100% protected from an agency that wants to get you right so if prison wants to get you they're gonna get you so don't use this for really bad stuff uh, I can't really say that you should be using this uh, for the torrents out there but you know what you probably won't get as much in trouble or caught or chased after than the people who aren't using this program or who are just blatantly downloading using freaking bear share or whatever program that's still out there limewire kazaa or something right don't don't use those uh that'll get you in real big trouble both you know government wise and um viruses and stuff like that 
stay away from those. But if you're gonna do this stuff, use this program here. Hopefully uh, I don't get in any more trouble than I already am. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later.